Hello YouTube land, my name is Castlecaden and today we're going over a quick tutorial on how to actually install the plugin Vault and going over some permission managers, specifically in this case though, Group Manager by Essentials. So let's get started, let's head over quickly to dev.bucket.org and uh, head over to server mods. Mind you, this page might be a little different by the time you see this, but other than that, you should be good to go. So head over to the server mods and what you want to do is hit the down arrow here type in vault now vault isn't necessarily more well it is a plugin but it's more of an api than anything there's so many mods or plugins that actually use vault that this should be your number one place to go now vault is permissions chat and economy api that gives plugins easy hooks into these systems without needing to hook or depend etc etc and etc etc now that's all great. The different permission systems that there are available right now currently. So permissions 3, B permissions PEX, which is permissions X, uh, group manager, which is by essentials, permissions bucket, Z permissions, simple perms, privileges, and drop perms. The most popular one is probably either PEX, B perms, or group manager. Specifically though, I like group manager especially, especially if you're going to go the essentials route. If you're going to go the craft book route, I'd probably go PEX, but we're going to be doing group manager. Anyways, that's that's later on. Right now, actually, I quickly want to show you guys the plugin list that actually uses Vault. This is a huge list, so, you know, you might want to actually use it. And the ones that really should stand out to you are things like, I don't know, Factions, I think, uses parts of it. But I mean, yeah, Factions. So there are a lot of big plugins that actually use this, and so this should be your number one stop. After you install the server for the first time, like in the first part, you want to grab this. So here are the most recent files and note that this is for Minecraft 1.5.1. We're on Minecraft 1.5.2 right now but this may still work. If it doesn't work chances are they're probably going to actually upload our new version of it soon though I don't see why this wouldn't work necessarily. Anyway so here we have the server folder which I put in C like right in the C drive root just server by itself. What you want to do is open up the plugins folder and just uh, drag and drop. Done and done. We now have this part done. We're not going to test it out just yet because that's because we're going to be going to the next step already. So you want to go hit the filters button again and now you want to actually search just essentials because this is where we're actually going to be finding our group manager. It's kind of packaged in there nicely. So uh, yeah, oh they got actually a new icon too. That's actually kind of neat. Well I mean our new thumbnail I should say. I think it looks a little different. Anyway, so, what are the things that we'd want? Well, we have the essential stuff, which is by itself, but what we're going to be doing specifically is going for Group Manager. You want to head over to Initial Install, copy these two jar files. So it'll bring you down to the, well, I guess the breakdown. So what we're going to do is just a download Group Manager, and it'll start downloading it. There's uh, two files in here. Although, personally speaking, I don't really use Bridge, but I mean, because of the size, it doesn't really make much of a difference. So you're just going to actually drag and drop those into the plugin folder as well. So I'm actually just going to, there we go. There we go. So we have now three plugins, specifically two and a half if you really want to, you know, fight semantics. Bridge, for me, I don't really use it too much. But, I mean, download it and install it anyway. It won't really add too much to your uh, system or setup. So what I'm going to do right now is actually I'm going to fire up our uh, server. Why not? So we're going to go right here. We're going to go to run.bat. We're going to set this up again. As you can see, it's actually loaded up some stuff. It's enabling group manager and whatnot. So just to quickly verify, we're actually going to uh, quickly join the server. As you can see, it's actually currently logging in and uh, things seem to be working rather well. Let's type Oh, don't have permissions to do this. I need to be opt. Okay, so I am going to quickly opt myself. Something, again, that you should not be doing. Oh, whoa. Right, okay, so I don't have permissions to do this. Okay, so this is where things actually start to come in handy. The reason why you don't want to be opt, the reason why you actually want to grab a permission thing is so that you can actually dictate who has what permissions to actually view stuff. I'm actually going to do is actually disconnect from all of this. I wonder, can I just type in plugins like that just to prove that it works? Okay, yeah, so there's a, currently three plugins that are currently at work right now. Permissions, which is always going to be active, Group Manager, which is good, and Vault. So there you have it. Now, 
as you can see now that we're in the plugins directory you have some different things here you have plugin metrics which is going to be created generally throughout most of the plugins that you install because they kind of want to track to see how many people download their plugins which is fine I guess I understand that so um, the main one that we want to focus on is group manager now so our worlds are called spawn and spawn the end eh, it's fine we'll go with that so we'd want to go to worlds spawn and first off let's see who's in here uh, basically the three people that are part of group manager who have actually done that and whoopsies that's all the other stuff so I'm actually gonna close all of that out for now sorry about that uh, but the one that we're gonna be focusing on right now is actually called groups.yml now the reason for that is because I'm gonna quickly show you how to actually do some of this stuff now as soon as you look at this you probably be all like well I don't understand this well don't worry about it it's easy we'll get through it and the good thing about you know notepad plus plus is that you can really organize this out and this is why I love notepad plus plus by the way I definitely recommend that and I definitely recommend something like 7-zip or WinZip or WinRAR to actually open things up anyway so as we have it these are the groups the first group is just called default now no, I don't really like them being called default, so I'm just going to change it to a member, or even a guest, maybe. It doesn't matter, really, but here's the deal. So, the default is basically the default rank. Is this the default rank? Yes. So, it's set to true. These are the specific permissions that you want to give to people. Now, does that mean that members will be able to kill? No, but that's because there is a, another minus right here. Now, these are all spaces. These are not tabs. If you tab anything or put spaces after anything, things will go wrong. You'll have a whole bunch of errors. You will not be able to start the server. In fact, what I'm actually going to do is just set some spaces right here. And we're going to stop the server. As you can see, we already had some issues right here, which is disabling group manager. And what we're actually going to do is uh, really quickly head back over and restart. Okay, so you'll see a bunch of errors here. And the good thing about uh, Notepad++ is it even kind of shows you how to solve it. So it's near line 15. Well, guess what? This is line 15. So you'd want to double check the end to see if there's any spaces or the beginning. So what you want to do is just uh, space it out and you should be good to go. And yeah, if you try to load it up like this, you'll have no permissions at all. So that could be very detrimental to a live production server. But, okay, so here we have this. And normally, let's say you have a plugin. What you'd want to do is each plugin has permission nodes that dictate what you are allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do. So let's say I have a plugin called, I don't know. I don't know, give me a plug-in name. No, um, wireless redstone, right? So we're going to call this redstone allow. So why not? If they actually have a node called wireless.redstone.allow and you give this to them, they'd actually be able to use that redstone plugin. If you make sure to negative that, then what will happen is they won't be allowed to use it. And here's the other thing. The inheritance is actually equally as important. I'll get into the groups in a second, which is what these Gs are. But let's kind of scroll down over here. Actually, we need to change that too. Note that the builder is false. There's, the builder has no permissions, but the inheritance is member. So everything that the member has, the builder will have, which is perfect because that's how we're actually going to be like modeling our whole entire structure that what we need to do I'll probably go back to this in the future again once we actually have some plugins actually I'll probably be referencing this a lot because I'm gonna be showing you how to actually do this step by step but this will show you kind of what you kinda of need to do and for example these suffixes you what you can actually do is look up uh, Minecraft color codes for example formatting here we are now everywhere where you see this little weird squiggly line just put a uh, ampersand right there for example what is that E will look yellow for that so that'll give you an idea of what each one is 2 is green for builder moderator is 5 which is purple administrator is C which is bluish I believe no nope, red owner is 4 which is a dark red so that's something that you probably generally see and uh, from there on out, again, these are 
groups, which you can also do, and I'm actually going to show you where that, or like where everything like that is. Rather than going to worlds, etc., etc., these are called global groups, and you can actually inherit them in any of your permission nodes. You can actually set this up any way you want, by the way. So rather than spamming your whole entire thing here, you can actually create groups, which I'm actually going to show you right now. I'm going to go into the global groups. So here we have, oh, right. Okay, so we're going to be looking at Group Manager Default. Here is Group Manager Default, and these are the permission nodes that they have, by the way. So this is actually a good example of what to do. Now, let's say, where are we? <laughs> let's say you didn't want moderators to promote anybody like promotes players at all. What you'd want to do is just put a minus sign below any of these and you'd be fine, right? Uh, let's say, and again, what else is given? So we have bucket default, we have group manager default, which is basically for essentials. We have bucket default, which is basically the bucket stuff. So here's an idea of what is actually included you can actually check the oh that's why okay so let's actually remove that actually right now and what we're going to do is restart minecraft 1.5.2 we're gonna log in why not I just want to quickly show you the difference of that one little minus sign can make I'm pretty sure that's how it'll work in this case just gonna move over and actually select the uh, there we are just and guess what plugins it now works it doesn't matter if I'm op or not op or whatever plugins command now works but that's because I set it to work Generally speaking, you'd actually want this to be a minus because you don't want people to know what plugins you have because then they might be able to find certain ways around some plugins to try to kind of like exploit your game. And uh, yeah, okay, so for example, this one you cannot build in this one. So the idea is that this member rank is the very first rank that people get sent into. Now, what a lot of servers end up doing for that is that they get sent off into a world where they have to click on some signs, go through some doors, and they start teleporting around. We'll actually set one of those up like with you guys in a tutorial, but it'll give you an idea. And the idea is to promote them then to Builder, which will then give them all of their basic powers or uh, privileges or permissions. But yeah, that's about it. Like That goes over some of the basics of group manager stuff uh, throughout, though I may not have been very in depth, what I'm going to be doing is we're next couple of episodes we're going to be installing a couple things like Townie, we're going to be installing Hero Chat, we're going to be installing a whole bunch of other plugins. So what we're going to be doing is actually going to be showing you guys how to actually set up via Group Manager as those episodes occur. So don't worry, I will be going into further in depthness, nessnessness, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, leave a like on the video, and until next time, keep modding.